Hey everybody, welcome back to another midweek devotional here at Faith Assembly of God in Lisbon, North Dakota. Uh, we are going to be changing up the way we do the, the midweek devotionals. Um, right now they've just been all about the devotional and it started during COVID uh, when people were at home. It was kind of meant to be a way to connect, to get into the word, to be an encouragement during that time. And it, it's kind of especially the last few months, it seems like people are kind of drifting. They're not wanting to watch them as much. So rather than just canceling it entirely, what I'm going to start doing is just kind of going through some of the announcements um, and, and just reminding people of what's coming up. Not necessarily like anything too immediate uh, because I do film these a week in advance, uh, but just, you know, something to keep on your radar and things like that. Things that are going on here at Faith Assembly and, um, it's still kind of having just a little devotional. But as for today, we're not going to do that just yet. Uh, we'll start that next week. Um, but uh, we are reading out of James chapter 2 for our devotional. And I'm not going to be doing a ton of editing anymore. Uh, it's, just, it's just a straight thing. So if you want to grab your Bible, or if you just want to uh, let me read it to you, that's okay. We are going to try and finish the book of James at verse by verse and little passages uh, as a devotional series. And then after that, if the viewership is still down and things, maybe we just do away with it. I don't know. We'll see. James chapter 2, uh, verses 15 through 17. And this is going to connect us back to last week's devotional where James kind of starts this idea of faith without works is dead, right? Uh, faith that does not have action behind it is a dead faith. And he will eventually get to that and say that at some point. But right now in verse 15, it says, If a brother or sister is without clothes and lacks daily food, and one of you says to them, Go in peace, stay warm, and be well fed, but you don't give them what the body needs, what good is it? In the same way, faith, if it doesn't, have works is dead by itself. The idea, this is really James just illustrating the point that he made last week. And it, it's kind of just reiterating what we've already talked about. If you, if you have empty words, right? If you say to somebody, uh, well, I hope everything gets better, but you don't offer any help, um, what did you really do for them, Right? Uh, you could, there are, and, and there are times where people need you to listen and just have them air out their grievances. Maybe, you know, my wife tells me all the time, don't try and fix this. I just want to tell you how bad my day was, you know, <laughs> and sometimes that's all people really need. But if someone comes to you and they say, I'm hungry, I, I don't have any food at home. And, uh, you know, maybe they haven't applied for food stamps and you, you know, that if, if they did, they'd be able to. I, I say this because I would know because I used to work in eligibility. If they've applied for food stamps and uh, not gotten any help, or maybe their food stamps are out, it's the end of the month and they reload on money and all they really need is just a bag of groceries to get through the month. Uh, maybe something happened and they've just really fell on hard times really fast. Well, as a Christian, we're supposed to help them. And I'm really proud of our church. We have our own benevolence fund. Uh, the, the local ministerium, we're actually looking at a, a, a policy for the countywide benevolence that we do. Um, and I'm really proud of the work that's been put into that too. But the idea is, even as individual Christians, if someone comes to you and they say, hey, I, I don't have money for a gallon of milk. And you look at them and you say, well, good luck with that. that that's, not, that's not showing the kind of faith that we're supposed to show. That's not showing the kind of love that Jesus says we should show to our neighbor, right? And so the idea that James is really driving home in this is that if you don't have any action to what you say, your empty words only reflect your empty faith. So with that said, this week, put action behind the words of your faith, right? Put action on your own. Don't just say something, do something. If someone says, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to be able to afford coats for my kids this winter. You know, let me know. Let the church know. Maybe maybe we can buy them some coats. Maybe there's something at the thrift store you could pick up for them. It doesn't have to be something flashy, but there needs to be action behind. Don't just say, well, I hope that I hope you find something soon or I hope that works out for you. Let's do what we can to bless others. 
again, you know, obviously we're not trying to enable bad behavior or anything like that. But again, we are to be the hands and feet of Christ, right? We're the body of Christ. We're the ones who are blessing people. And if we say these things, but we don't do these things, we're failing in the mission of the church. So this week, put some action to your words, and I'll see you Sunday. God bless you.